So this is an x-ray with an obvious abnormality of a mass. It looks to be too big to be called a nodule. It's probably over three centimeters, and it's probably in the right lower lobe. It's always helpful when you have a lateral film to be sure, but the things that would tell us um, it's obviously not in the left lung, and it's probably not in the upper lobe because it's too low in the chest for that. The minor fissure is probably right about there. Can't really see it on this film, but this is sort of a multi-lobulated mass. It's most likely in the right lower lobe. It's probably not in the middle lobe because it's a little too high the middle lobe medial segment would be here. The middle lobe lateral segment tends to be a little lower. And if I had to guess, this is probably in the right lower lobe, one of the lateral posterior segments. The workup of this would be partly due to what's what the patient can tolerate. The other little oh by the way that you might miss when your eye is drawn to this is the fact that this patient has had some sort of open heart surgery before because there are those nice sternal wires there. So this may be a patient who has a pretty bad heart. Whether you would work aggressively to biopsy this and try to remove it if it was a non-small cell cancer for instance might be predicated upon not only the patient's wishes but what his performance status is. So again, when you're looking at x-rays, don't miss what you can learn about someone just because your eye gets caught to the abnormality. Remember, we talked in other x-ray viewings about what else you can learn off the film. This is probably a patient who has a little bit of heart failure. These blood vessels are generous. The heart is enlarged. Probably this is a patient who's also overweight. They fill up the film cartridge here with stem to stern subcutaneous tissue. Some of that may be breast tissue. It may be adipose tissue. But this is, this is not a skinny person. They've had something with their heart. And they probably have a little bit of left atrial abnormality just based on the fact that when I look at that carina, it looks a little widened. So again, even before I might meet a patient like this, I can learn a lot of things about them from their film.